Critically acclaimed cellist Yo-Yo Ma has played on the world's biggest stages. He earned a Presidential Medal of Freedom and is a Kennedy Center honoree. Now he's on a musical journey across the country to bring people together through nature and song. Mark Straussen joined Ma in Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Now this was virgin territory in East Tennessee. The miracle of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park meeting the mastery of cellist Yo-Yo Ma. Yo-Yo Ma is the world's most renowned cellist and its most famous. A prodigy at age four, he has globetrotted most of his life as a virtuoso. Soloing with the greatest orchestras on the grandest stages. But you can have no ear for classical music and still know the name Yo-Yo Ma. In the Smoky Mountains, he popped into view and became the National Park's most photographed attraction. Hey, give me five. Oh Whoa! <laughs> You're strong. You were like the Pied Piper. Really? People just following you. <laughs> when did it occur to you suddenly that you're a classical musician who's some of a rock star? No, I don't think of it as rock stardom. I mean, I'd like to be a friendly face for people. I mean, you like people. I love people. I'm fascinated by people. It's like, you know, there's another human being. Who are they? What do they do? What are they thinking? And I want to connect with them. Somehow, it puts my mind at ease. We met under a canopy of hemlocks and hickories. The 67-year-old talked about his latest project called Our Common Nature. It's a cross-country musical journey, visiting national parks and other outdoor spaces like New River Gorge in West Virginia, Kentucky's Mammoth Cave, and the Grand Canyon, too. His goal, connecting to the natural world around us. At each stop, Ma uncases one of his cellos, often more than 300 years old, for a free pop-up concert. This is not my space. This is our common space, our common nature. To you, what is the connection between music and nature? Music tries to describe a world that is infinite. It's always about something bigger than itself. Here in the Smokies, Ma played with three Cherokee musicians at Klingman's Dome the park's highest peak, sharing the story of their ongoing mission to restore the mountain's name to its 1800s Cherokee title, Kuwohi. You clearly like being out here. I, I love it. Falling in love with, with nature, with ourselves, connects us to a greater whole that sometimes is subsumed by attention to I gotta get to this appointment on time. Even you, you can be in too much of a hurry to get to the stage to perform. Always, <laughs> I mean, my life is not unlike your life or anybody else's life. It's, it's very segmented. But with some notable exceptions, his 19 Grammys, his Presidential Medal of Freedom and Kennedy Center Honor. If America gave medals for stepping outside comfort zones, Ma would win those too. Venturing far beyond Carnegie Hall in a lifelong search for completeness. In journalism, you're trying to tell the best truth that you can find. I try to do that in music to say, this is as much truth as I can find. And I'm not saying this is all of it, but this is the best I can do. How is the truth in your cello playing different today than it was before you began this National Park tour? Oh my gosh, I think I am more in touch with the core of who I am. I'm more able to show what is inside. You're a better cellist now? I think I'm a fuller human being. A fuller being creating a fuller harmony in nature. The great outdoors, now a performing arts center. For CBS Mornings, Mark Strassman in Gatlinburg, Tennessee.